Hello fellow fragrance lovers, it's Hila here on H Loves Fragrance. So today I'm so excited to be doing a tag video from one of my most favorite uh, perfume YouTube channels, Claire Smith. And the tag is called Matching Perfumes to Dresses. I first saw it when she released the video three weeks ago and it looked like so much fun. And if you haven't checked out Claire Smith, do go check out her channel. She's amazing, so knowledgeable about perfumes and she does a lot of fun and interesting videos. So I decided to do this. At first I was initially hesitant because I do make my own clothes. I very rarely actually buy any clothes now. I've been sewing my own clothes for the past seven years. But you know what? I thought even if I can't reference Max and Spencer's or Bowden or any of those other fancy places, I still can talk about the perfumes and what I like to wear with them. So let's jump straight into it. I have five perfumes and five outfits to share with you. So I'm going to start off with a chilling out, cozy Netflix at home kind of outfit. And this is a really oversized, comfortable sweater hoodie that I made for myself using some lovely, really florally fabric because I do love florals and I wanted something nice and thick and cozy to wear in winter. And the perfume that I like to wear with this is Fancy. Now Fancy is such a gorgeous perfume. And even though it starts off super sweet and strong and fruity give it time because the dry down is much calmer it's still sweet but in a vanilla dessert kind of way the heart has a pink floral blend but it is not too distinct but it is the end where it becomes a woody musk that's laced with caramel and a lingering scent of burnt sugar it is absolutely beautiful and for me this is perfect for this just chilling at home watching netflix with the kids so that's fancy from jessica simpson and an oversized hooded sweater that is just soft and cuddly the next outfit that I have is a dark winter floral dress. It's got a fitted bodice and a gathered skirt and I love this style of dress. I have made about 10 of these types of dresses but using different fabrics. But for winter I love the dark winter floral and for this look when paired with knee high boots and tights I love wearing it with Adam Levine for her. Now Adam Levine for her opens up with saffron, citrus, marigolds and spices. Is it a coincidence that I like this fabric as well that has got some oranges to it? I don't know. But the dry down is quite musky sandalwood and it's got jasmine in it. There's a spicy woodiness that is perfect for the cold weather. Even though the longevity is a few hours on me, it is a fab fragrance that I think is literally impossible to overspray. And I have the opportunity to just really spray loads of it on me. So this is how I see Adam Levine for her, that it would be perfect for a lovely dark winter floral dress like this one. The next winter outfit is a little bit more dressier, but I love this style. It's got a flare skirt and it's layered with a turtleneck and an off shoulder top um, over the top. And I love to wear this with brogues. I love brogues and I've got a huge collection of brogues. And for me, this outfit goes really well with La Vie et Belle. I love Lancôme's La Vie et Belle. It opens up with a fruity pear and black current. There's a tonka bean mixed with the chocolate praline and jasmine. And let's not forget the orange blossom. I love the orange blossom in it. Um, the dry down has got the patchouli and the chocolate accord. It's gentle. It's warm. It's elegant with poise. And that's how I feel when I'm wearing this particular outfit. So that's La Vie Belle with this layered skirt look. Up next, we've got a midi length A-line flare skirt that I've made in a scuba fabric. And I like to wear it with a black turtleneck. And I feel very elegant in this outfit, especially when I wear it with my knee-high boots. And I think Givenchy Linte D is perfect for this outfit. And in fact, every time I wear this, I do put on Linte D. I love Linta D for its pear, caramel and vanilla coupled with the freshness of bergamot and it's got a rich white floral 
to it that comes from the tuberose. And it has this dark undernotes of vetiver and patchouli. And to me, lintedy is dark. And I tend to find that I love wearing it with anything that's got a black turtleneck in it. So for this outfit, lintedy from Givenchy. For outfit number five, which is a sheath dress that I made in a scuba jersey fabric, I chose Sarah Jessica Parker stash. Now, I love stash. It is a soft, creamy, tranquil fragrance with a really beautiful green note to it. It's cedar and it's got a boozy woodiness with it. Vetiver is in there, which gives it a lovely dryness, and it is so satisfying to the senses with notes of grapefruit, black pepper, sage, and ginger lily. It is so lovely and it's so perfect for the winter. And I do find that I reach for it a lot, especially when I'm wearing this sort of simple style outfit. And I would normally throw on an oversized cardigan. And I just feel really cozy when I am wearing this. So that's Sarah Jessica Parker stash. So those are my outfits matched with perfumes. Thank you so much, Claire Smith, for creating such a fun tag to do. So this is my winter edition. And again, as I say, guys, if you haven't checked out Claire Smith's channel, do go and check that channel out and subscribe. She's just so much fun to watch. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you staying until the end. And I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please do give it a big thumbs up down below. It really helps the channel. And if you're mad about perfumes and you find perfume as much of a never-ending fascination as I do, then please hit that subscribe button and join along the fun. Until I see you next time, guys. Take care. Bye.